<sighs> Wait, here he goes. All right, Hugh. All right. Yes. Um, no camera, but you fixed it. Um, I don't know why the stupid camera doesn't want to work. So it only works in Linux and not uh, Windows, apparently. Yeah, I plugged it into Linux and it worked no problem right out of the box. I didn't even have to download anything or anything. Um, and I kind of sort of got it working, but then it, of course, dies when I need to be live, right? Because, you know, yeah, reasons. <laughs> reasons well here's something i do like about stream yard and that's something i've been using since just before um dragon con with with uh almost daily discord is uh, now I'm starting to hear myself back a little bit but it's okay um is that you can actually change your edit audio avatar so instead of being the circle with the missing person you could put up your logo if you had one or a middle mm. finger or you know whatever picture you have on your computer mm okay but that's not the point i you can see you can see my screen right because i've shared yes. it up on the broadcast there um, cool yeah oh. oh here's the button make it full screen all right there we go so here's the first question whoa how are you splitting audio signal and reaper and that is is uh talk to me hugh um well Before I answer. the the way that i do it is i have a delta 44 and i have yeah the first you know like charles would be listen to input one and then you know he would be input two you're all, you're kind of lower on the, compared to my signal you're lower right. on the recording uh, but we'll fix it that's what buses are for so i was just playing with um, it while you're talking so i wanted to see if i could adjust yeah your, is that better? well now i can hear you fine i'm looking uh, at the visuals you're the bottom channel i'm the top channel top so you channel. can actually see the Right. Audio differences there. Yeah, I can see that. Uh yeah, it's it's low. Um if I turn up the mic gain a little bit. There you go. Well, I, you I punched you, I pushed you way max out here, which I'm not gonna do, but it doesn't matter because this is part mm -hmm. of audio recording, right? Right. Yes, exactly. Oh no, I put um, you back on that. It looks like it looks like I'm hitting about minus 18, which is fine. Just looking at the meter there. All right. Maybe, yeah, I messed it up for a second, but now it's back. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording now that we mess around. And that's what I was thinking, Scott. But we're let's get into that. Okay. So <laughs> as I pop back to your board every once in a while. Um uh, first uh when you do, let me ask you this, Hugh, before we get into all this. All right. Yeah, I am just loud. You're right. Um how are you doing your mix minus on your board? Um like the uh, the way i record is i have the microphone panned hard left and the computer panned hard right so they record to separate channels okay Which, so um, do, do, you, do you have like a stereo file handy that you could just like throw into another track just real quick mm, anything doesn't even matter i'm trying to think if i do honestly i don't um hit control no. alt x that's your uh, explorer and then okay. all right uh anything whatever i think i record all in mono that's my thing i export in mono so i i'm pretty sure yeah see that's just a mono channel but i understand what you're saying uh so let's well I, I was gonna i was gonna show you another trick because um Something I mentioned during Dragon Con was um, using the Zoom H2 as a backup with the uh, the tape out to um, right board, and what that'll give you is dual mono. And in Reaper, okay. you can just you can just take a stereo track, which we, in this case would be dual mono, uh -huh. and you can right click on it and do item processing, and then there's a thing called explode to new tracks, and it'll yeah. take now those done two that. sides, split right. it out into so. their own separate tracks. It's another way to do we're it. We're going to stay on task. We're not going to go chasing <laughs> all these audio rabbits all over this board. So first, because it was a question that was asked, uh, Scott asked, how are we splitting the audio signal in Reaper? And actually, hmm. I want to see if this will change. Let's do unprocessed there. Uh, I have a board called Go XLR. And it is a simple board. It has an XLR plug-in just for my microphone. It has, a, I think, a quarter inch jack for a different line in. It's got line in, line out, and it's USB to the computer. Fairly simple, right. and you could you could 
it's designed for streamers, right? And, and somewhat solo users. It's not designed for sitting in a room with four people and having four mics. You need a different board. But when I put down and Reaper, I sent it to uh, ASIO, I do believe. And once I did that, it actually gives me the full range. All these channels are coming on my board. So the broadcast is what you're hearing, right? So you're catching however I hear it in my headphones. You're hearing that in the broadcast. And it's going out and going through. Um, and then you got the chat mics, which is it can be also my channel, right? Um, but I like doing the uh, unprocessed microphone. So we're going to do a clean recording, Hugh, for our pro right. purposes. Not, uh, not dirty like we used to do. <laughs> Why? Well, mm, you. Yeah, well, yeah. uh, although that did put you back into my, my thing okay. here. So that's how I'm splitting out. So that's that. So here I'm gonna hit record, and right. uh, so now it is two mono channels, right? Right. Yep. I'm on so, one channel. You're on another. Exactly. Uh, now let's tell some stories, right? Uh, let's let's. Do, but I do know. So taking you off task because that's what you like to do for our recording part of this. Uh, yeah. When you throw in that stereo channel, or you have a stereo recording, yeah. When it's not recording, you can actually right click it. And process and have it exploded out and it makes two separate tracks from the left mm -hmm. and right so for your purposes you're doing a balanced mix minus which means you're taking the balance on one microphone turning it all the way left and then on my channel you're turning it all the way right mm -hmm. yep um because that that works with skype um skype listens to the left side and plays back on the right side so I, it separates me and kelly out when we record so she's on one track i'm on another track and yep, that works but i could record it in as a stereo track with those with that panning and then explode it out later i've done that before because it would still put you on either now don't yes, be crazy does your board have the ability to put on the headphones to make it back mono for your headphones to make it mono for the headphones yes um not that i know of so you're you're literally hearing me in one ear and yourself in the other ear um yeah oh that drives it, me crazy it, it's a little weird but you get used to it pretty quick it's 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 you know once once you've done it a few times it's it's not that bad but yeah sure. the first few times it's really strange like i'm over on this side and kelly's on that <laughs> side and you but um you get used to it I, I I made it to where I didn't have to get used to it. I'd find some kind of re not a splitter because that separates audio, but like a joiner. I don't know, like a headphone amp. Mm. But a lot of my boards actually had mono to headphones. So no matter yeah. how I balanced it, now if I wanted to hear the mix and how it was balanced, it would play exactly like I did the balance knobs, right? But right. for because you and I started doing this long time ago, and that mm. was the first mix minus you ever taught me was that left right pan and the board i had at the time fortunately i was able to hit mono to headphones and then everything was right. you know, double signal right it was all around yeah. so i was like yeah no i can't mm, i don't want that <laughs> split audio stuff okay um you don't have to do that i'm just saying that that's an option you know it depends on what people have available for their setups and you know how they're recording stuff if they have a mixing board and they're recording to a Zoom H2, H4, whatever they have, and they do a dual mono thing, um, then you know Reaper makes it real simple to separate that back out and make it what we have now, two separate tracks. Yeah. And yeah, it also totally. it also works with surround sound. Like if you have a 5.1, it'll take the five tracks and phew, it, it separates all of them out. And it also it doesn't destroy the original one. It just it makes it a folder and mutes it. Right. So you, you don't lose that original recording. It's still there. It's just muted out, and it's still you can still see it, but um, it just doesn't play back unless you want to for some reason. So, all yeah. right. I think you think uh, three minutes is a good enough piece of audio for us to work with buses on. That's fine. All right. So let's stop this. Save that. All right. So I got to unrecord or your arm. Uh, otherwise, it's going to feed back here. Okay, Hugh. So, obviously, I know what I'm doing here. And normally, what I would do is, you know, I'm going to select yours. I'm not going to do anything yet, but I would, like, I would 
uh, item process and normalize and, and just gain that thing out. And then ultimately, you know, I'm bringing in my intro music. And actually, I can, I'll just do a new project tab and open a recent project. Let's do not the, is it the production one that has all the, yeah, the production one that has all the tracks on it. So this is what a production would look like for me. All right. right? Uh, let me come back to the beginning. So I have my intro music, and you're going to be able to hear this. I'll find me my board. Uh, Charles McFall. Ooh. This no. is finding the Okay. Story. So you have the intro music, you got my intro, then you got a, so I have all these tracks, right? Then the main show mm -hmm. and drop it down. But I'm doing all this piece by piece and I'm, I am putting the effects right. on the channel itself. I'm doing that wrong, aren't I? Um, not necessarily. Not, no. Um, it's just that, the, uh, let, let me explain this to you and then you'll okay. understand. All right. So, um, Either hit Control T or double click underneath there and make a new track. Okay, so I, I another way to do it is go in and hit insert new track. Okay. Yeah, so um, just out of right. habit, I just do that. Right, you you could just double click underneath there, or you could hit Control T. Or, okay, yeah, you know, whatever. What about underneath here, no. Oh yeah, no, it works there too. Okay, let's delete some yep. of these. Let's go back. Okay, so even in the space, now is this? I think this is just the default out of the box. I haven't changed my layout or anything. I remember mm -hmm. at one point I was putting my master track on the side and that was cool. But basically yep. in the master mix, this is called the mixer down at the bottom, right? Yeah, the mixer tab. Or yeah, under the track tab on the side, you can click and it'll double click and it'll do it. Yep. Okay. So I've got should I go ahead and do two, one for each of us? No. No. We want okay. Because it's gonna be a one. bus. So okay, this uh, is the bus. If, if you double click in where the label goes there, you could you could type in bus so you know what it is, just you know, if you keep track of stuff. Just bus, so you know. <laughs> All right, bus, so we know what it is. There it is. Uh, welcome to my my show with my <laughs> co-host, fucking clown. <laughs> okay, so um, go up there and uh, select track one. All right, click on clock one, then okay. hold down control and click on track two. All right, and then you want to hold down shift, and then go over to where it says route next to the name. Uh, the little, the little okay, yeah, right, right there. And drag that down to the bus tr track. It should turn into a patch cord. There you go. All right. Okay. So let's do that again. <clears throat> yep. because, and, and we'll do it this way. Then you guys show me a different way because everybody memorizes buttons and this and that. Yep. that but I'm going to do it your way again. So it was okay. click on track one, hold down yep. control, click All on right, track select. two. All right. So you selected both of those tracks. Yeah. Hold down shift. Click on the route thing, drag it down there, it turns to a patch. Actually, cord. I think I double patched it. Hold on, I'm gonna delete this out. I think I double patched it by accident. I didn't uh -huh. I didn't undo what I did. Yeah, see how the route is there. Okay. Yeah. So normally with no routes, it's just one green dot. Right. Yeah. The the green means on it, the, just, the green yeah. means that it's going see up in the uh, upper left hand corner there. Click on that again. Upper huh. left hand corner it says master mix or master send. Yes, it does. That yeah. means that it's being sent to the master channel. Okay. okay. All right. When you drag it to a bus, that's going to change to a what I think it's yellow in the middle, which means right, it's well, being sent somewhere else. So. All right. So, control. All right, control. All right. So I've highlighted them both. I think another way you can do it is I think you can. Nope. I lost. I thought you could drag and and highlight. Nope. You can't. All right. So I'm on. Hold on. Shift. Grab yep. the route, and it does. Yep. It does turn into a, a plug cable. I, I like it. Yes. Right, so you know. I wouldn't have. Doing. I wouldn't have realized that's what that was because it's it's a very. I thought it's like a two right. bit graphic. Yeah, it, right. But it's telling you you're plugging that into there. Okay. So, yes. So now, you see, now you'll see that that changed. A send light on our two top tracks, mm -hmm. and then the yellow light in the middle for a receive light. Okay. Right. Controls for Charles is what it says. Um. Yeah, you can just close that. That's okay. Um, all right. All right. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to see, but um, actually, um, I can do. I hit, can do. If you hit a little shift, bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. That's a little better. Okay. Um, all right. So now, um, on tra tracks one and two, it's still going to the master mix because that's the Correct. one all the way over to the right. Master okay. send and it's sending. Right. Somewhere else. Yeah. To, to okay. Class three. Okay. All right. Let's yeah, see so the difference. Yep, close okay. that. Now, um, 
hold down control alt and click on the route button on one and two which you have selected so click on that and that gets, goes away and now it's not going to the master send it's going to the bus track that's a quick way to do that or you could do it manually by hand but it's a lot faster to do it that way okay so i'm gonna do it manually by hand now i put it back the lights came back okay. so, all right so yes if you unclick the master send yep and okay that, that one goes away so it's not going to the master send right. anymore it's just going to the bus and then the bus is going to the master send all right and so i'm clicking on the one. box that says route now this can be translated to other programs right yes. it's, it's not just this one but we're using reaper uh, for mm -hmm. reference so i click on the route it pops up just track two q4 i click yep. on the master send and so now it's not going to send to the master right yeah okay. because otherwise you'd hear it twice if you played it back gotcha it's going to the master and the bus and the bus is going to the master so you're hearing it twice gotcha. so now you've got tracks one and two going to the bus track all right so now any effects that you put on the bus track will affect both of those tracks equally and why so why why am i setting up a whole third track when i could just put the effect on the master because like you were saying before you have intro and outro music and other stuff after we yeah. get done with this you're going to have a, a sub mix essentially of the voice track that's the product you're selling right that's your show sure and, yeah and then once you get this done then you mix in your intro outro blah 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 to your 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 sub mix so that way everything is even All so right. you, if you're it, you don't want to have your intro be like super loud and then and then all of a sudden your show is quieter and it doesn't you know people have to turn it up turn it down people don't like that no they they no and that i use and that's what maybe walk me through that too i use um uh, uh um i lost my brain for a second um luffs i have a lot waves luffs meter yep that i use mm -hmm. to try to that by go track by tr so again coming over to this one it actually has a laser the luffs meter comes up and I just I have to solo out. Oh, about adventure. And I look over, make sure it's getting to my numbers. What we can all I turn it up or down as I need to. And right. if you can actually, I'm gonna blow this out here. If you can see the knobs, this was turned a little bit negative. Mm -hmm. uh, this was turned a little bit positive. This was turned a lot of it positive just to get them all matched to the roughly same luffs number. So we'll get back to that, but that's that's an example. So we recorded the interview for, for argument's sake. Yeah, yeah. Th this example thing. So um, like you can see that my track is, um, yeah, uh, Scott, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm working towards it. He's, he's talking yeah. about compression. Yeah. And stuff. We're, we're going to get to that part. Okay. So um, my track is lower than yours. Let's play right. it back. Let's listen back to it real quick. It, it should be, yeah. And then on my channel, you're turning it all the way right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, because that that works with Skype. Um, Skype listens to. So you're hitting just above negative eighteen. Back microphone on. turning. And it yeah, on. I'm in that neg six. Yes, my track is definitely louder than your track. Right. Okay. So if I'm about, you want to be, you want to be peaking about minus eighteen. So you would want to turn you your track your track down. Really. A bit. Yes. Because you you want your signal to be between minus eighteen and minus twelve. That's where um, um, modern recording equipment, digital stuff, is designed to be optimal. Is minus eighteen to minus twelve. So there's two ways to do that. Which way is better? What I was just doing there is basically a gain reduction mm -hmm. of negative six. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 yeah, you're just turning down the volume. Well, but then there's the volume. Which, no, that's a pan. Sorry. Then there's mm -hmm. the actual volume. See, it doesn't make the waveforms go down, but it actually right. turns down. Yes. The negative. Which right. one's better? I would do the drag down thing you were doing because then you can see the waveform and you can kind of okay. visually get a good idea of if you're in the ballpark. Yeah, and so at the top there, that thing. There you go. So if I was picking at six, I want to do at least negative six. That'll put me at, it should put me around negative right. 12 from the left and mm -hmm. right. So for your purposes, yeah. you're doing a. It does, and it puts you. Skype. Um, you're at neg Skype 18. to the left side. 24. Plays. Neg 24, more or less, on average. Yeah, mm -hmm. when we record. But it doesn't, it, it, but you got to kind of use your ears, too. It doesn't sound like, like you don't sound overly loud. I don't sound 
uh, under quiet. Turning it's it all the way left. And then on my channel, you're turning it Skype. Um, Skype. I'll probably bring you up a little bit, yeah. Okay, I mean that's that's what the point of this is is to get those tracks in the ballpark so they're they're kind of even, right? And plays back on the right side. So and then on my channel, you're yeah, that sounds about even, give or take. Okay, does your All board right. have? Well, there's always going to be peaks and valleys, right? Yeah, it, you yeah. know, it's not it's not going to be steadily at minus fifteen or whatever. It's going to be you know, it's going to you just want it in the in the general vicinity so it's not crazy. Okay. 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 So now you're going to go over to your bus track. And the e what happened? <laughs> I messed with you. I started playing with the screen. All right, there. All right, go over to bus track. Yeah, FX, right, right there. Up, 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 up. Yep. Right, FX, click that, and then do add. Yep. And then uh, in the filter, type in LIM. Should come up with a limiter. Right, you're right. We should walk our people through this because in case they don't follow okay. the mouse clicks and all. Because this is a workshop. It is a how to. Right, you right, said yes, it. Okay. I did. So on the channel, on channel three, there's a button that says FX and. It, even the highlight when you I hover over it says show track FX window. I click mm -hmm. that and it automatically open ad for me. But if it doesn't, there's an ad mm -hmm. button and then yep. boom. Now which filter what what are we using? You're looking for a limiter, so just type in L I M okay. and come up. So um, I use I tend to like the master limiter that yes. comes with it. It's a J I forget I know there's VSTs, there's JS, there's rewires. Yes. Um I don't remember what JS stands for, but the master limiter. Yeah, that that that's good. Use that one. Okay. All right, so I selected it. Mm -hmm. Now what? Now, um, let's see. Uh, we're, we're, oh, li okay. It's second one from the bottom, limit. Limit, yeah. Limit and DB is decibels and it's set to negative point zero point one. Right. Move that to uh, let's say minus fifteen. Like minus fifteen or point fifteen. Point no, minus, minus 15. Look, yep, minus minus 15. It might not, it, it it might not go. go. It goes to okay. six. Okay. You know what? That That's not a problem. See up at the top of those things there? It says edit. Yes. Click on that. Okay. And then um, scroll down a little bit. There's nobody who's going to want to do this on an easy level, man. No, it's it's really simple because then you can change it so you can make it what you want. No, no, don't not scroll down that much. All Way right, back sorry. to the top. You don't want to go down right. a few lines. See where, where it's got slider, slider, blah, blah, blah. Right yes. There? All right. Next There's six. um the yeah, negative six. Change that to negative 30. Okay. Okay. And we'll, and, uh, we'll, we'll come back to this to see if there's a, right. a easier way, like a different limiter. But that's actually not too bad. Is uh -huh. we hit edit. We just found slider six. It's a negative six. I just put a negative 30. Mm -hmm. And uh, close that and it'll say it'll ask you if you want to save. And we hit yes. yes. Now, okay. if you move that slider, yeah, it goes, it goes to negative 30. 30. So, right. I find it just as easy to type it in. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Right. But that's a, that's a way that, like, the built in ones, they're, they're set up kind of like, you know, generic. But if yeah. your slider doesn't go far enough, you can easily change that number and make it do what you want it to do. It's a great wow. thing about I it. I did not know that. That is really cool. <laughs> but but if you're if that screen freaked you out, we're going to find you a better way. Okay. So I understand a lot of people are like, what? No, code. Not. No, no. We this is advanced, a little bit advanced audio, but I'm trying to set it up to where it's bite size. It's not, it's not you're not writing code, you're just editing one number. <laughs> you you have the engineer's disease. If I was just like, if I'm on my own personally, and I'd uh -huh. YouTube with something, and you did a YouTube video, like, yeah, just edit it like mm, I might break it. I would rather find another limiter. Thank you. Which is something okay. we'll look at for later. We'll look for another limiter later. All right. We okay. set it to next 15, dude. From everything mm -hmm. I thought that, that's, I saw, what, that's But that's like, what we're peeking at. So don't don't worry about it. We're good. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. We're gonna get we're okay. gonna get there in the at the end. Okay, now, so now uh, you gotta Scott does say that's also a Reaper only feature. You wouldn't be able to do it in the other DAWs, which is Digital yeah, Audio Workshop. Is, or, or workshop. You know, the, the great thing about Reaper is you can change everything, and the bad thing about Reaper is you can change everything. Everything. It's, it's a very deep rabbit hole. So, um, <laughs> and, and he says, trust in you, Charles. I, I, just, I just, but negative 0. 0. 0. 0.2, 0. 0.2 is what I used to leave this at. Okay, good. Negative 15. We're, <gasps> we're not. We're not at that point. Hey, <laughs> we're, right. setting up, we're setting this up. It's gonna okay. it's gonna work out in the end. Trust okay. me. Okay. All right. 
All right. Now, after the limiter, you want to add a compressor. Uh, okay. So I'm done with this one. I hit add. Yes, you. Now have. I do know it matters the chain, like the limiters mm -hmm. at the top. So yep. it's going to limit first, yep. then it's going to compress. Yes. There's there's a reason we're doing this. It's because the the limiter is going to take care of all of the spiky bits. Now I just typed in uh, comp. Yep. And I've got re recompressor, yep. re X compressor, um, seventeen. Yeah, yeah. The the first one recomp that should work. Okay, that should have a gain reduction meter on it. Okay. Yep, it does. Okay. Uh, actually, the master limiter. I don't know. I, don't know. I can oh, get a different that, limiter. Right. Uh, yeah. Click on the limiter again. I'm, I'm Just not remove sure. it. No. Yeah. Um. Sorry. Too late. Okay. All right, so you're starting over. <laughs> yeah, we're starting over. But that's how I like. I want to make sure I understand how this works. Right. I just typed um, in limit, and now we uh, have. You know what? Go to go to the one below the master limiter, the MGA mass. The, okay. The it, MGA JS limiter. Okay. That one might have a gain reduction meter because that's kind of what we want. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, um, the the where it says ceiling. Yes. Move that to minus fifteen. If it doesn't go there, what do you do? Uh, what do you do? Edit. All right, right you go down to the, the third slider. Right, it's the third one down. It says minus six. Change that to whatever, so that we can get that. You know, make it minus thirty if you want. That's good. Nope. Save. Yeah. Yes. You're not going to break anything. It's just making that slider go further. You're right. You're right. It's not, it's not going to break anything. You know, there. So. Now we're at neg fifteen. All right, now you want to go add a compressor. So, so we, just to be sure, we don't need to worry about threshold or release at this point. At Not all. yet. We're just yeah. worried about that ceiling being negative. We're, we're, just, we're just putting we're, we're putting the signal chain together first, and then we'll then we'll deal with it. Okay, and it, and this is something I've learned to harp on in medicine. It is fifteen point zero. That decibel place matters. It's not zero point one five, which mm -hmm. is something you could do. It's mm -hmm. 15, negative 15.0. So just keep yes. in mind that. Neg negative 50. It sounds like it's really low, but it's going to work out in the end. Trust me. All right. So I typed in comp. We want to do recomp, you say? Yeah, recomp is good. That's got a reduction meter. Okay. So. Just sort of the, the name. I love the names. Major Tom. I like that one. Yeah. I and like then, a it's, fairly it's, childish. Yeah. And yeah, and there's there's Master Tom. And um. Yep. Yeah. And then there's fairly, the fairly childish child. is a reference to something called a Fairchild, which is a really old school compressor. That, um, like give me a little history. Give me a little a quick, you know, a less than five a, minute history. A little history that. would be a um, a Fairchild would be something they probably use in like the late fifties, early sixties. It's it's like a big ass piece of equipment, but it's okay. it's it's got tubes in it instead of transistors, and a lot of like old school studio guys really love those because of the warm tube sound you get oh, i love warm tube sounds yeah it, it, you know it, it you know if you're making dark side of the moon yeah that's important if you're making a podcast not so much okay. so well, so that, you can use you can yeah. use the, the the reaper's fake fairly childish and that's <laughs> that's what it you know it's supposed awesome. to give you give you a little bit of that but anyway um all right yeah, i learned it, something that was a good little history lesson so right. what you want to go with the, the the recomp the first one the first one okay and that's the one. So anything, if you're using Reaper, if it has R E A, that's one that Reaper basically built. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And the J, I don't know what JS stands for, but it's just a plug-in format that it uses. Right. So right. um, let's see. Uh the attack, which is the what the second okay. one down, second slider so down. You want to set that. Under, at, and you don't ever worry about the presets. No. Okay. I mean, you, you could save one after we get done. After we get done, right. But um, I just know how to do this off the top of my head. So sure. And that's what I want. Uh, he thinks uh, Groove says that Java might be uh, JS might be JavaScript. OK, that's probably right. OK. All right. So I, envelope sense. is the box that we're looking at. And you said mm -hmm. attack and set to 3.0 milliseconds. Yes. You want to change that to 25. It won't do. No, it goes the other way. OK. Yeah, it goes out. Type it in. It'd be just easier for me to do that. 25.0 milliseconds yep and then why? release why yeah um because that that refers to this this little piece of paper i have here which is what i call the um the gold mine 
this is um I'm i've tried to look at your piece of paper and you're not on camera so <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, i'm describing it it's it, this yeah. is an audio book <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, it's an article that bruce williams wrote in 2009 and it's entitled recording interviews with field recorders and it's all about using the h2 at conventions and stuff right okay but the last paragraph is so you're now back at your desktop and or your hotel room and and it tells you how to do all of this stuff like you know it says um you know, uh, adjust the gain so uh, minus fifteen, blah 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 blah, and then um, you know, um, where where where's the compressor part? Um, yeah, peak limiter, so it's minus fifteen. Yeah, and yes. thresholds are you getting about four to six dBs. We'll get to that when we play it. Um, yeah. uh, after the peak limiter, add a compressor with a moderate attack, twenty to thirty. Twenty five is in the middle. Good place to start. You might want to change it, but you know, good place to start. And uh, a moderate release of 100 to 150. So next thing I was going to tell you is 125 because it's in the middle. Because it's in the middle. So that's where I start. And you want to set the ratio to four because it says, what does it say? Three, point, three to one or five to one. So four is in the middle. Right? So that's that's how, uh, I, four to one. Yep. Okay. That's how yeah. I come up with those numbers. So, so you're, you're kind of following a recipe there. I get you. Um, yeah. And um once i started doing this that is when i started getting feedback of that sounds really good how the hell did you do that that sounds like the radio and also can you do production for me now scott says again these are reaper specific plugins but you mm -hmm. would still have a limiter plugin and a compressor plugin for right. pro tools or mm -hmm. or audacity or yes. addition or whatever you yes. use so. It, it, yeah, it, this isn't software specific. This is, um, in fact, when Bruce Williams wrote this, he was still using Adobe Audition. Um, it's a limiter, yeah. a compressor, so whatever you me, have. And me, as far as being able to edit the parameters, that's a Reaper thing that, you know, if, if you don't have that, then you might have to find something that will go do what you want it to do. So. All right, so just for everybody to follow back, because we went through it too fast, envelope, the attack is a second, so the pre-compressor is nothing. We don't change that. No, the attack is at 25.0 milliseconds. Mm -hmm. Release is just below it. We set that to 125 milliseconds. Yep. Then there's I, my per particular piece of software. I have auto-release, classic attack, and weird knee. I didn't mm -hmm. click any of those. I skipped yep. it. Ratio is 4.000 to 1. 1 cannot mm -hmm. change. We changed it to four, and that's where we are. Yep. That's, okay. That's good. All right. Okay. So, um, go go click on the uh, the limiter up at the top there, in, in the effects. All right. The, yep. All right. Now play it back. Yeah. When we record. So and then adjust the threshold so you're getting about four or five dBs on the yeah, game reduction meter, which would be at the bottom. But I could record. So just it move that over that way as a you'll, stereo you'll track start, with those with that start panning. Going. And then explode it out later. I've yeah, done that because it would still put you on either. All right, see that drove me yes, crazy. Does your board have? The okay, I do see it on the headphones yep. to make it back mono for your headphones. Yeah, that's about right. You might want to go a little bit more make to your left. mono for the headphones. Really? Yes. Um, not that I know of. So you're you're literally hearing me in I, one I, ear and yourself in the other ear. Yeah, it's a little too much. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, that drives me it, crazy. It's a little weird, but you get used to it. You want, yeah, you want it. You want it to be about four you know, or five. So we've done it a few times in between the three and the six that, there somewhere. So, sure. but yeah, the first few times it's really strange. Yeah, when well, we when we hit a hard side and that's that side blasts and, yeah. up, but on average but, um, it's staying. You get used to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, again, I, yeah, it's not going to be that. Where I didn't have yeah, that that's, that looks like it's pretty good kind of okay. So we're shooting for between three and negative three negative, negative um, six decibels there yeah um well again he says what is it <laughs> um you know four to six db so five you know that, okay again i picked the middle number as a it's starting you're point, an engineer and you're your, very specific your, your mileage may vary and you need to use your ears and you know maybe whatever okay, okay. so we got we've got the peak limiter what's that what that's doing is um if you looked at the waveform it's basically like what's called cutting the grass like all of the spiky little things at the mm -hmm. top, it's kind of shaving those off so it's all fairly even. And that makes it so that the compressor isn't working so hard. So the Got limiter it. is kind of catching all of that spiky stuff just enough to, to kind of tame it. And then it's going into the compressor. So um, if you click on the compressor. Okay. 
and you play it back again. But I could record it in and your uh, I'm a, track I'm with, the, those, with I'm that left hand side there, the threshold slider, the vertical. Uh -huh. Yes. You want to move that down. But I until, could record you get it about in four or five dBs on a stereo that track with, those, with that You'll panning it pops up. and then explode it out later. Yeah. I've done that because it would too, still put so. you on either. Now it drove me yeah, crazy. There you go. Does your board have yeah. the ability to put so your headphones? To... You're thresholding both of these. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but right. So you're getting four, you're know, getting like four. Amp. But a lot of my boards actually had yeah, mono to, to head. People have available for their setups and you know how they're recording. Stuff. Okay. Right. Why why are we double whacking this thing? Uh, well, again, the 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 limiter is 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 taming the signal a little bit just to make it so that the compressor doesn't work so hard. And by putting it through these two things, it makes it so that the two voices sound coherent, like they're in the same room, sort of. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, it just it it make it gives you a, a much more stable, better signal. So once you got done with this and you're happy with it, well, then I'll, I'll... you can add in your intro, outro, and stuff and mix it to, essentially, to your bus track. And at minus 15, which sounds weird, I know. I'm but coming I'm back. back. Uh, I'm back. Now I'm hearing myself back a little. Oh, no, it's um, fine. Uh, what um, I want to do is a, a contrast and compare. Uh, okay. So I'm going to mute the bus and... Mm -hmm. I do know. Okay, so we're just doing a raw render of just uh we'll call it before. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or call it uh, Actually, you know, actually you, you, you don't no, don't don't mute the bus back track because it's not it, um we, we actually you sent those back to the max. I did take right. them back. I took them back. Right, all you have to do is turn off the effects on the bus track and it would just get rid of the effects. You're right. I so, do overkill. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you're sending the the those to the main. That's fine, whatever. So so your rendering file, okay. Okay, so let's uh our project did a little MP3. No wave. Let's make it an MP3. Mono mono's fine, right? Just for before and after. Um, yeah, if you're just listening to it, it's fine. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna render that real quick. And it does it, and boom, done. Okay, so let me go back. I remember I clicked. I, there's, I hit, there's a there's an option in render where you can check check a box that'll add it as another track in in your project. That one didn't go. What are you, what are you trying to do? Get it back to where we're supposed to. Oh, um yeah, um you, um you want to um control alt click the, uh, the <laughs> yeah, okay. I just did control. See, yeah. Again, that's why that's why you go through and learn different ways to do it. Actually, Ken, <sighs> Kenny Kenny Joya. Another great thing about Reaper is it comes with Kenny Joya because his videos are so awesome, and I learned a lot of this Reaper stuff from him. Is where I learned that trick. But in the video, he said on the PC to use Control, and I found out it's Control Alt. <laughs> and he actually made a mistake because he's a Mac user. So, oh yeah, gotcha, that's gotcha. fine. Um, but yeah, it's Control Alt will um, turn that on and off. Okay, so the effects are back on. Mm -hmm. That was why I did that. You're doing a balanced mix minus, which means you're taking the. Yep, that works. But I could record it. In okay, so you're saying now that we've done our effects on the bus, yep, we could throw in an intro and outro. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I have just some kind of music for something where's my download where's the podcasting production toolkit that i may or may not on have dropbox done? oh which is fine i just thought i might have something why is it on dropbox why isn't it on your desktop <laughs> Be well, uh, no oh, you're right no i make uh i actually make production folders on my backup hard drive oh. uh, i just have to remember uh you know once you point reefer to it you forget where everything is here we go this should work i think let's see so this in uh, epic inspirational something trailer but it didn't when you throw in, uh, whatever whatever file i just clicked was not correct is this one there we go hey look there's your stereo file Mm -hmm. Down one, 
All right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Just for fun, the the stereo file. Right click on that. Yep. And then see uh, item processing. Yes. Click on that, and then over on the uh, down below the line there is explode to multi channel. Click on that. And boom. And, boom. and like you, you said, it. it yeah, it, it makes that a folder, and it mutes the bottom. So yeah, wow, don't play that's that. really loud. I know. Don't play that when it's that loud. So uh, Control Z, you can undo that, and it'll go away. All right, Control Z. Just like working in Windows documents. Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously, this music is super loud compared to yep. our tracks. Right. See, right. that's the music. Yeah. See, like it's all it's it's peaking the meter right there. So you want to turn yeah. that down. And you want to get that balanced to the the show, quote unquote, so that it's out. still way too right. loud. Yeah. Well, that was, that was actually my fault. Yeah, it's compared to the voices, you can't hear the voices. Yeah. So. So I should bring yeah, it down. You, you, might, you might want to go to your, you know. Yeah. What about what? 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 I was gonna say you might want to go to the fader. On the on the track thing where the title is, turn that down. But um, what what you're doing is putting a volume envelope on it, which is that's fine. It gets the but same. I do know. Thing. So taking you off task because that's what you like to do for our recording part. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and bring cut up this in half just to make it a easy fade in. Channels, right? Right. Yeah. So one channel. About like that, roughly. Yeah, I mean, get yeah, ballpark, you know. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, you want okay? Uh, so before we put in the music and everything, he wants to. Uh, uh, Scott wants to hear the the after. So if I render it right now, it has the af it has the effects, and this will be the after. Correct. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do that then. So yeah, if you, when you do render, okay. Um, let's see. Where's the thing? There's a thing to um. Why does this look different? Uh, there should be um, add to add track. Why is that not there? Tracks, multi channel tracks, multi channel files. Mm -hmm. uh, are you trying to add it back in? Add rendered items to new tracking project? Yes, yes. Where okay. is that? It's down at the bottom. Oh, okay. You know what? It's getting cut off because of the how to use audio bug. That's why. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Right. Add rendered tracks. Yeah, add or render so then it's gonna take your mix and put that in the um in your project, and then you could just solo that and play that. So, okay. So rendering so. it out. Now still see at negative twelve, that seems too quiet to me for a playthrough. Right. We're not done yet. Okay, all right, my bad. All right, so but right. that's 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 the pro that that's the process. All right, I turned off the effects. Actually, let's just bypass this whole thing. I uh, already well, rendered you, the raw. No, you know, you, no, 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 no. Uh, un unclick the un unclick the the Shh. mutes. We're we're not there yet. We're not oh. there yet. All right. All no, right. No, no, no I didn't say. Tip, 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 tip. You could have. This hit. is the raw. This is the a raw recording with no effects on it right here. And uh, so now it is. I've got my slider channels. turned up so I can right. hear it good. Right. Yep. So I'm on one channel, you're on another. Exactly. Uh, now, let's tell some stories, right? Okay, that is uh, good. Let's, let's do, but I do know, so taking you off task, because that's what you like to do for our recording part of this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. When you throw in mix minus, which means you're Skype. Um, all right. Skype so that, that was the raw the left side and plays back on the right, right side. So I, it's and Scott <laughs> says you can hear your frustration. <laughs> I so. know because you're doing things, you know, the, the, the hard way <laughs> when you, you could have just soloed. Okay. That track and it would have gotten rid of You're everything. You're right. I freak so it works. That's fine. Right, yeah. Now that was the before. Mm -hmm. That actually sounds pretty good. Once we just did some volume stuff. Now, it, this you you see the, how it's 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 a lot more even and and it sounds I, coherent. Yes. Like I like do it, see it's just it's looking going, at the track. There's no spike. Like right here, right. there's a spike on the before, but not the after. Right. And I, I also got this this tip from the crystal method is they were talking about using drum machines. And how they have all these different drum samples and it, they didn't sound right because they came from all over the place and if you run it through the same processing all of those sounds it makes them all sound the same you know what i'm saying like i'm yeah, what I'm getting yeah. at is you're, you're kind of gelling your sound so it all sounds like it's processed together even okay. though you know recorded separately it 
yeah so all right all right so, so here is oh no so i want to do this all right come back in so here is the post mix look i'm mm -hmm. still solo even if it's oh. one channel on another exactly uh now let's tell some stories right uh let's let's do, but i do know so taking you off task because that's what you like to do for our recording part of this uh yep. when you throw in that stereo channel or you have a stereo recording so far sounds good yeah when it's not recording you can actually right click it and process and have it exploded out and it makes two separate tracks from the left and right so for your trying to get you to come in here that's you're all doing my a balanced oh. mix minus which means you're taking the balance on one microphone turning it all the way left and then on my channel you're turning it all the way right mm -hmm. yep um because that that works with skype um skype listens to the left side and plays back on the right side so I, it's turning it all the way okay and i see i'm seeing on the meter we're staying at like neg 18. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah you, notice how, you, there. you notice how that yeah. that neat meter doesn't move that much anymore that yes. it's, it's all staying pretty consistent that's that's yes. the goal of this okay and and just shrinking it down oh look there's a major spike in the before right here in my voice i'm sure that in the after sure but yeah the first few times it's really strange like yeah yep so there was there's was... you've done it a few times it's it's not that bad sure but yeah the first few times all right i i realized what i'm messing up i soloed it you've done it a few again. times it's it's not that bad sure but yeah the first few times it's really okay yeah the shore is much softer now in the before mm -hmm. right. in the before you've done it a few times i'm sure it punches it's not that bad Sure. But yeah, the first few times. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I blew it out when I said sure. Okay. No, I mean, All right. Yeah, you didn't you didn't overload it, but you can just look at the waveform and see that yeah. that's much louder before it went through the yeah. compressor, and the and, compressor and, said, "Hey, that's too loud. Squeeze it down," and it brings it all into consistent level. Yeah, but to my ears, I can hear you're talking. So my mind is like setting my ear volume at a level that I come in is like sure, and it's overbearing. But yeah, mm -hmm. once you set that, those right the the yeah. the now you do it on the bus so that it makes everything the same versus trying mm -hmm. to limit or master a track individually. Yes, because that would be a that would be a nightmare. Going okay, is this right. quite right? All right, all right. So yes, got it. You, We're you, already you, seeing you could before. you could do the same thing with a limiter and a compressor on each track, but yeah, you're going to have a hell of a time trying to get them even and stuff. Whereas if you send it to a bus. Then you you're just mixing it all together at once, right. and it's all going through the same processing, so everything is being done the same. And this is what I needed. This is why I wanted to do this. It's not. Mm -hmm. I need to understand the why, not just the how, not just. I mean, I consider Scott a very smart, high end audio technician, and I, I not just that. The smart guy said it, which the smart guy said, it, and the smart guy is right. But I need to know why. Why would I do it differently? Why? So it makes sense is that we're putting. We're not messing with the original track. We're putting it all on. So even if I had not, let me ask you this, Hugh. If I had not adjusted the volume of my track to start it a little bit closer, this still would work and push me down? It, it would up to a point, but you can't. You want to have it close fairly to close even. to even as you can. And, you know, again, use your ears as, as far as, you know, what it should be. You know, get it so that it sounds about right before you do you know the limiting and compressing and that's then, the volume first then yeah, you do the limiting. Th yeah that just get it in the ballpark so it's fairly good you know you might have to go in and um um yeah gain staging exactly but yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. beyond the scope of this project so well that's yeah but that's the term if in case people hear it i've done that before too is you've taught me something but didn't use the terms and like they're, they're mm -hmm. like well can you gain stage i don't know what you're talking about here's yeah. what i do like oh that's that that's what i was talking about so, oh okay <laughs> So yeah, this, yeah, right. All right. Yeah. So we are, we heard the difference, and we know you put it in the bus so that it takes it into a separate room and puts it more together, like yep. shuffling a deck. All right, right. we've done that. We've yep. heard and the results. You, and now and you can hear you can hear the difference now. Yes. As to why you'd want to do this, and it does make a huge difference, making everything nice and uniform. And that you know, if you're doing a podcast, that's your product. That's what you're selling is the the show part. The intro and outro you mix to your show so that it's about the same level because you don't want it blowing people's heads off and then they can't hear you or you know they can't hear the intro and then boom your voice is too loud you want to get everything nice and even 
So once you've got that, then you got you know you got everything mixed, everything's good, right? Let's let's just say we're at that point. Well, here we're we're at the point where we got some music and we have yep. us. So actually, like I would do, I'm gonna shift this out just a little bit. I'll take mm -hmm. that crap off. All right. So we got the music playing. And uh, so now it is okay. We want a little bit more than that, don't we? Just to hear the levels. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now it is two mono channels, right? Right. So that was a little too loud on the music. Yeah, button. yeah the music's a little, little, little high. Bring it down a little bit. Actually, I did the wrong thing. I want to come to the slider. Oh, nope. Stuff's highlighted. Stop. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. About neg 10. Uh, so now it is two mono channels, right? Right. I, I'm not going to spend the time to do it, but I'd probably bring it down a little bit right. more. But that's mass right. screen. But, that's but again, yeah, use your ears and get it so that that intro part sounds about the same level as, you know, so it's not out of, you know, out of control. Now, okay. So, so let me ask you, Go. I'm going back to a different tab. Let me put it up bigger here. This is actually where I used this intro and I mastered it for my show. Mm -hmm. It starts off quiet because I hand mastered this intro meaning i took the music and it's at a certain level it seems a little low but then my my audio that's the spike you see my audio comes in clean and then the music comes up so i i did an envelope and came up mm -hmm. would it have worked better if i'd done the staging let listen to it i love people's stories stories mm -hmm. are what you see how strong i come in over that which is yeah. what i wanted right um you can you can do that with what we're doing it's this you know if you want to make it you know a little bit lower and have okay. your voice come in a little stronger you can do that but by doing it this way you, you've got a you know a fighting chance of not having people to have to turn up turn down turn down yeah it, it'll get everything all nice and even so that they set the volume at whatever level it is and it plays all the way through the show without having them having it that is the absolutely what i want as yes. so all That's right so we've got thing. our we've got our music I'll just copy and paste this thing for the outro. I'm going to mm -hmm. track in. Um, just for giggles, right? Like right. we're producing a show. Yep, that's fine. And let's yeah. fade it in. Mm -hmm. Which, okay, I know I'm going fast, but all I did on Reaper, Control Z, oh, yeah, on Reaper, that's... and I probably on most of them, you see how I have a symbol that, that turns the arrows in a bracket? Mm -hmm. I just click. Nope. I slide it and the corner it has an angle mm -hmm. and and gotcha. I just slide the fade in. And if you right click on that, it no, 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 no. Go back to where you get the little, the little re the little fade in thing uh -huh. right there. Right. -click. Ah, you can change oh. that. Oh yeah. You can change that. And you can do that with the out, out fade out too. I'm learning something today. Yeah, I know. And what? Also, most most other DAWs don't let you do on. that kind of stuff that easy. Oh, Woo, listen to that. I just came up. I like it. <laughs> yeah. That that's cool. I, I've always just used the default. Right. And so I'd usually hand do it, and that's a whole different class. It's a whole mm -hmm. different run through. Yeah, I, but I, yeah, I hand you, do envelope. You, you can pick any of those those fade ins, that's fade fine. out, and oh. the fade out will be the same thing. All and right. The, yeah, if you go all the way to the end. Uh, uh, end of the the that song there. Hold on, I gotta put it something here. And oh, oh, I don't care if I type it right. <laughs> I need to find it here because it's too loud and it's coming. Right. It needs to match. All mm -hmm. right, so I get to the end of it. Right, and then you click right click on that. Now it's got the fade out. Oh, you could change that too, so you can have different ones. Yes. So you yeah, you can make it however you want. Right. And no, no other DAW lets you do that that easily. That's really nice for Reaper. Yes. Cool. Okay. Fact, so we it, have... it, it, ju ju just a, a, a quick aside. Um, anybody who might be interested in Reaper, there's a video called Why Reaper by Kenny Joya or, or Reaper Mania. And he goes through all of the reasons why you should use Reaper and all of the cool stuff you can do with it. It's like, I don't know, 10 minutes long. But it talks about all of this, like all of the like these tools that you can do without having to like you don't have to click on a button, you don't have to do whatever. You just eh, go to that corner, fade in, right click, change it. That simple. Uh, spell. I know how to spell Kenny. Spell Joya. Uh, it's G I 
um, it's it's Reaper Mania. This is his okay. YouTube channel, Reaper Mania. I'll put it on the screen. Is all. Yeah. And all right. Boom. In fact, in fact, if you go to Reaper.fm in the video section, that's all of his videos. So they're all there. there that might go. be an easier way to do it. So yeah, Reaper Reaper.fm is how that works. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's, uh, he, you if, you, if you click on the uh, on the help of, about, it'll list um, it lists Kenny Joy as a developer now because he makes all those so so nice. cool videos. He got he got listed in the credits, so he's awesome. Yes, yes, Scott, I agree. Kenny Joya is one of the reasons I love Reaper is because Reaper comes with Kenny Joya. <laughs> he's awesome. <laughs> okay, so I've packaged my show. I've got my intro. Yep. Okay, so yeah, so you, so uh, let's just for fun say okay, you've got your mix. Everything's done. Yeah. Okay, now go down to your ma your uh, your your ma yeah your master fender there. Which oh, why do you put that on that side? Scott I, does I, that. I haven't adjusted it. You know, as a bonus cue, as a bonus, we will uh, talk at the end of this about how to adjust the layout. But it is down here. No, 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 no. It's right click, and then go up to the top, master track, and then go show on right side of mixer. Okay. There you go. <laughs> but no, there's another way. There's a way to have it actually run the length of it. I know that. Um, so I like that because I could really see the numbers when I was recording. Oh, you want to have it horizontal? Is that what, is that what you're saying? No, no, no. It's vertical. Yeah. Because, no, I don't worry about it. We're getting off track. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, right okay. Master. Right <laughs> the master. Right. Uh, yeah, FX. The, okay. the FX. And then you want to put um, the master limiter. So limiter... So we want to use the one I was using before, the master limiter. Uh, actually, or just let's look at what we have. Limit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, master limiter would be fine because what you you you're gonna kind of you, we're gonna kind of use the meters. So, um. Yeah. Yeah. Use the master limiter. That's fine. Okay. All right. So, uh, just leave everything alone, and up at the top is threshold. I'll so put, if you, uh, yeah, right here at negative three point zero. Yes. Right. So if you, you um, hit W to rewind, hit W to re on Reaper. There. Okay. Not on Windows. What? Yeah. It was on the thing. Yeah. Yeah. W is rewind to beginning, and then if you hit play, and then over on your threshold there, uh, on the limiter. And, yeah. Uh, so now you want to move that to the left, right, right? So that you're getting so uh, one channel. Minus one point one. Exactly. Here. Uh, now let's tell some stories, part. right? Uh, okay, so we want minus one point one on the left meter, right? And uh, so now it is two mono channels, yeah. right? Right. Yep. So one channel. I can't get it anywhere close. Exactly. To 1. Uh, now let's tell some stories, no, no, right? Min uh, min minus one point one, not one point. Okay, I still can't get it. You see, it says I don't know if you can see, but on the left meter it says negative oh, one point oh, seven. Was, my bad. I'm the right meter. My right bad. Right meter. Okay, I was, like I can't get yeah. it past negative nine. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. All right, reset. I give it my goal, Captain. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, and, yeah. And, uh, so now it is two mono channels, right? Right. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Um. You want to click on? You, you see where it says minus point or minus zero point one on limit. So, uh, uh, on the, on the, on, yeah okay that resets it so now, now play it again okay so for what what he just did because i'm familiar with this is in the meter itself at the very top you can actually click it in the little it turns red if it's lit up so it's the dark red section mm -hmm. and it just resets the meter because that's telling you what it's hitting no when that's, we do it. that's telling you the maximum that it's hit so yeah. it keeps track of how high it went so this is negative infinity inf is what that means all right and it, yeah and yep. okay so move the thresholds so you get and uh so now it is two mono channels right right there right. yep all right now we'll reset it just hit play and uh so now it is two mono channels right right so as soon as those voices come in it jumps it from that negative six right. which is a great yeah. mix actually Negative yeah. six is the music, then boom, we come in right over top about six decibels higher. Right. Well, now. yeah, again, use your ears, make it what you want it to be. But um yeah. um yeah, generally you want it the the um the AES standard for podcasting is minus one as your peak. 
and you want it to be six minus 16 luffs and no no less than four dbs of dynamic range so okay uh, well I, we haven't even touched I, 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 can, I can i can show you how to do that real quick if you well want. let's rewind that's the, you just doing a big statement dude. yeah i know let's rewind. we haven't even touched luffs yet i know dynamic range what are we talking about um that's the difference between the loudest and the quietest parts okay so where would you see that would you see that from negative 9.7 to oh, negative oh, 0. Dude, 0. You, don't, you don't have oh you don't have i that. don't know you don't have the sws extensions no are they free i can get them real quick yeah they are go go to reaper.fm and um and then there should be um uh purchases and uh, resources resources sws reaper extension right there yep. okay so i actually i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it on twitch for everybody is where i am uh but i went to reaper.fm um mm -hmm. and actually let me see if i can change that's nah, too much but uh so i click on it and i'm gonna do windows 64 bit download they have mm -hmm. mac they have windows 32 which is basically being phased out in mm -hmm. windows 64 Mm -hmm. and let me go and install these uh, i also know from personal experience it's also available for linux you have to kind of dig for it but you i do have that on linux so it will work in linux too awesome all right so that is gonna close okay i think i have to actually close and reopen reaper i don't know we'll yeah. find out uh, here. yeah when it when it says um it, make sure you save it so we'll come back to where we were yeah because uh, it did not add SWS. No, it wouldn't be there. It's uh, it's up at the top on the top menu bar where it's file, edit, view. There, there's, okay. it, it adds a yeah. thing in there that says extensions. So, uh, so yeah, cl close. Okay, uh, close in Reaper. Yes. yes. Uh, DMT buses. Boom. Yeah. Okay. It, should, it, it should come back to where you were, but yeah it, it will, I'm sure. but just in case you don't want to lose all of that so oh no you always want to save always, always be safe always save kyle always save <laughs> all right no i clicked on steam and not reaper because they're sitting oh, close to each other my bad fucking gamers we're not playing games right now steam go yeah i know this is very serious business <laughs> all right let me share my screen again and get the reaper screen here well, and now it says extensions, but just yeah. like you said. I know, it would. like I said it would. Now click like on that. You said it would. Click yeah. on that. Click on the extensions. Okay. And then there's a thing called loudness. <sighs> See, loudness um, plays in the luffs. I know. Man. I know. And then take um, well, actually, all right, close that. Close that, close that window for now. Um, take the uh the um re re down at the bottom, raw record after. Right, Raw select that track after. Okay, solo select it. that track. All right, no, you don't. You don't need to solo it. Just select that, All and right. then do do extensions, loudness, loudness, and then at the bottom, analyze selected items. Okay, yeah. and it tells us integrated yep. negative fourteen point nine loss range is four point five loss, and that's what you wanted, right? Is the range yep. of four? Mm -hmm. Yep, four or more, and true peak minus. It. <sighs> I had that. Oh. We didn't um, do the master yet on the. No, 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 no. Um, click on options. On the, on the, yep, and then um, measure true peaks. Go down there and select that. Okay. All right. Now analyze those selected items again. Now it'll there you me. go. There you go. Because it, it defaults to not doing that because it 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 makes it slower. So yes. It, it doesn't do that. So right now your true peak is minus six. You wanted that minus one. So you would have uh, did the, it did limiter. the song thing. Hold on. No, it's, it didn't. But let me unmute you. Selected. So but there's you, selected track and selected item. We did item. We probably need to do track. Selected item. And, okay. Much longer. I just noticed it put end of song up there instead of we're all record after. Mm -hmm. There you go. 5.1 range. True peak yeah. is negative 15.3. <clears throat> right. So now if you, it, all right, just for fun. If you go over to where it says raw record their track and right click on that or just anywhere no 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 in the in the in the loudness thing now okay. you can do if you hit normalize oh. down, down one down one down one down one uh -huh. normalize. 
and then you can neg say 18 my. is the standard for podcast 16, okay actually put in negative 18 uh sorry it used to be 18 and 16 now yeah so normal oh, Hercules, Hercules. i know you're welcome now here's the thing now oh, look, now, now look, now look where your luffs is minus 16 yeah. boom true peak minus 0. 0.6 little bit loud but you, you know you can fix that so <clears throat> now you let's let's hear it. now I, I was doing i still like doing it the hard way because it looks good like it, i'll show mm. you in a second but okay first and foremost boom mm. here's the before and right. uh so now it is two mono channels and I, i'm not right I'm, right my yeah. side or my board on another is less exactly. than half uh no let's mm -hmm. okay now here is the after and right. uh so now it is two mono channels right right yep so on one channel on another exactly uh now let's tell some stories right uh let's let's do, but i do know so taking you off task because that's what you like to do it does kind of sound like radio i was trying to hear if um, i could hear the noise gates. right mm -hmm. yep um because no not really so that was cool now i just on a side note and, and uh scott says you the man you <laughs> <laughs> well thank you very much sir i appreciate that um <laughs> uh, that that the extension things is great i think <clears throat> bill had tried to tell me about this but i wasn't really understanding or catching what he was saying i like this one. i actually paid for this one and i need to do more learning with it with my waves and okay. i like the the w it's a lust meter Mm -hmm. we'll add it and yeah you can see it so, oh yeah look at that. Oh, no, nice shiny numbers it is shiny it's got my meter so i can see these mm -hmm. here right uh but yep. i don't know if it has that i want the ability to have it analyze selected track mm -hmm. and then do what you did see here the short uh, max is next 16 that's what you, you know what scott uses wave stuff i i've never really used them so i don't know well maybe I we'll I, I mean i'll look it up it's fine <laughs> Uh, and we can we can actually do classes on specific like waves or SWS mm -hmm. or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But that's on on finding the stories. This is what I used, and I went track by track to make sure everything basically dug into roughly around neg sixteen for mm -hmm. long for whatever. Yep. Uh, he says you don't use waves anymore, but that's okay. Huh. Um, I like waves, and I I, was, I used to be fairly familiar with them. Um, but yeah, so that's the hard way. The SWS, mm -hmm. I think this is exactly what Excel Bill was trying to say. The the SWS thing. Mm -hmm. Um well, there, there, it, it adds um if you go to your, your actions list, it adds all kinds of really cool shortcuts too. Where's my action uh, actions? Actions. And then you just do down one show actions list. Um so you can do like quick keys and whatnot. Yes. Like one of the keys that like one of the first things I do when I install Reaper on and whatever is I change um if you type in the search thing zoom and i um i find the one that says zoom to full project and i map that to the z key because i'm so used to that from audition i had that set up and i i, I use that and it, it'll you know if you zoom in on something and whatever you hit z boom it shows you the whole project it'll zoom out to everything um i don't okay, know i just added full to it uh full zoom selecting envelope full is is it full zoom selected no 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 go back go back to zoom it should be zoom out to full zoom to project it should be it's, it's just I, think it's, I think i think it's a reaper i think it's a standard reaper thing it might not be in the sws ones um holy crap it's so much it's just yeah, so no. much and you could you could yeah. zoom in oh. zoom out right okay um yeah zoom out to project okay it's all it defaults to whatever that is control all, whatever page down uh-huh but I change it to Z because it's just easier to hit the Z key. So if I hit key map, I can hit Z. Yeah, if you do add oh, down at the bottom. No, 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 don't, no, no. Over, over to the left there. Add. Yep. And then hit the Z key. And then say OK. And it's going to tell you it's going to snap to zero crossings, which you never use. Right. So. OK. So now if you um, go back to your project and like zoom in on it hit the z key ah dude boom there you go there's I your like that yeah, yeah okay all right so buses is that the end of buses uh, uh as far as what i do with well, buses. okay yeah, yeah. You know? so but so you, you would uh, yeah you, you you could set up buses to do other things like um like if you wanted to have uh like a reverb or a delay or something like that or a distortion where you wanted to play 
a track and also here it distorted you can instead of like canceling the main main mix thing you can um you can have it go to a bus and then both tracks will play and you'll hear one distorted and one not distorted um you can do lots of things with it but nice but that's what i use buses for for podcasting as far as making everything sound coherent and getting a nice consistent level i got one more question before we wrap right. this up so you see here we've got the bu five tracks right we got the two recorded tracks the mm -hmm. bus the intro and the outro yep okay would you run this sws extension would you render what we have mm -hmm. and then run the sws extension yes i want to try that okay uh since i know we have this stuff saved or we're not saved but this isn't as important i'm going to kill those all mm -hmm. right so this is our entire project yep make sure i'm basically happy and uh so now it is two mono channels right right, right. Bus is on. Yeah. that's fine all right so let's stop this all right yeah and blah yep. blah goes out yep. okay mm -hmm. so let's render and i will make sure that the add to render out to new project yep. so that's why you do that is so you add, it comes in yeah then it puts it on a new track and then you run the the loudness thing on that new track beautiful because right. that's that would be you know if you if you if this was a real show then you'd render to the track and that's what you'd be putting out to the world so that's what you want to analyze man season two of finding the source is going to be so much better <laughs> all right select that so. track with buses on first, where this is just post processing, and uh, so now it is two mono channels, right? Right. All right. Yeah. I, I didn't really hear a difference there. This is before we even ran the extension. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, so, as far as like audio into the, you know, right. But if you run the the loudness thing there, it'll tell you up uh, there. You go. You know, analyze, analyze selected, selected, selected items. Selected items now that is the difference so item is you i had to click on this the sound yeah, bar yeah you not just a track i had to well you could you right could track. select the track and it'll 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 say so i think it says selected tracks i think it changes but all right so our range is 4.7 your peak is negative 1.4 that's good and maximum yeah, short 17. Yeah, your integrated is your luffs that's the number you're looking at that's yeah the, and actually one. i would probably leave that that is close enough to 16 mm -hmm. that i'd be happy right but you could right click on that and say um normalize minus 16 luffs normalize here it goes and, i was gonna do it anyway because you know why not i i meant to do that and boom uh, you're, you're at minus 16. now uh there's another thing um is that um like different platforms have different requirements um like like youtube and spotify they have their own like luffs levels so um whatever you're publishing to you kind of need to look at that because um you know you want to be within their their specs i'm going to share my tab here in a minute we're going to look at those specs well now that it's done everything so this is the final product here and uh so now it is two mono channels oh right I see. right yep yeah, yeah right. Out, so one channel on another exactly uh now let's tell some stories right uh let's let's do so i noticed it did a uh at one yeah. point we're over right um pfft. that's okay i wouldn't have really have adjusted Let's. it anyway to 16 from 18. right yeah um and uh, yeah it was that it was that that the 16. yeah it's that it's that little spiky thing right at the beginning there i can just yep. about see it that um you know yep. right you could there. go in there and, and like surgically fix that or well that's know. a whole nother class. yeah that's yeah we don't have time to get into that, right, <laughs> that, that. that that's like all right envelope and drawing and those and all that stuff. so let me because we're going to look at because you mentioned and that's something that does go along with buses is we're talking about this loudness and whatnot and 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 scott says i use buses for effects and such i didn't realize faber sat in on this thank you scott for doing your favor impression um <laughs> <laughs> i love favor but he, his such. period is <laughs> and such absolutely uh, uh <laughs> so um uh yeah if, if i were going to do any kind of other effects i would i get you you put it onto the bus so you still have to clean track and sometimes even mix mixing like you said q mixing the um you don't need that view we can do this view mixing the um uh clean track with the affected track actually adds some dynamics mm -hmm. to it uh yeah. but let's 
and it, like like if you worked in a studio and you had a drum kit and you had like a whole bunch of mics you would take those all those tracks and put those into a bus so they all sound coherent that's yeah you know. all right oh let me take the not, not just sitting on that there okay yeah. that's my tab that's i have a borderlands background on my google chrome okay so we want to look at like spotify Luffs. i'm just gonna start there Luffs is for loudness right yes yeah look at that it's, oh. it's Loud, loudness units relative to full scale is what LUFS stands for. I added a T for whatever reason. It's L U F S. Yeah. Well, they take out the R because it, there's a relative in there. But. Okay. LARFS. Okay. How do I master my song? I'm just getting a number, is all I really want, want to hear. Negative uh, 14 for songs. Ne mm -hmm. So there you go. Just really quickly on Spotify. I just looked up Spotify, L U F S, LUFS and pulled up a, a q a of just about it and it says your target loudness for and now this is for artists and musicians is negative 14. that's really high for for the targeted loudness for the loss meter mm -hmm. uh, and it says the true peak needs to be less than one mm -hmm. but, well so so as you go negative we got negative 4.5 on ours i think that's yeah. that is definitely within this easily no, no, no. no. The, the four point five is the dynamic range. What what they're talking about is the the true peak, and the and the luffs level. So we have it at negative zero point one. We needed it at negative one, is what it's saying. Yep. And this it, so, it, it talks so about that that. that would go back to the uh, the 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 limiter that you have on your master fader. You would adjust that, you know, accordingly to get the uh, the true peak to be wherever it needs to be and usually it's minus one minus 1.1 1. 1, depends on the format but you know that's generally where you want to be uh the true peak was 1.4 but not negative 1.4 oh it was that it was at positive 1.4 well i'm re i'm reanalyzing real quick here okay uh no okay after i reanalyze uh, after we roll back the changes after we roll back the changes it's at negative 1.4 so we're in the right area mm -hmm. that we'd want for spotify so yep. let's look up YouTube, mm -hmm. LUFS, and boom, first link up. Yep. You, as long as you know what to search, usually these yeah. aren't talking about it. Well, wherever and you're wherever you're uploading it, just you know, Spotify Luffs or SoundCloud Luffs, whatever it is. And it, no, it do not go to SoundCloud. SoundCloud's the devil. Well, I'm just saying, if somebody's mm. doing that, you know, I'm not saying that they should. But, I'm know. just saying, uh, and there's all they're matching Spotify. Theirs is a negative 14 love, mm -hmm. which we're at and negative 18. If, if you go above that, they're going to turn it down. So be negative 13 is what we're saying. We're at negative 18, yes. so we're just below it. Yes, if if you're at negative 13, you're above their their specifications. They will turn it down. So there's no point in making it louder than what they tell you. So try to get you know just a little bit below minus 14, you know, or hit four, minus 14, whatever. But if you go above that, they're gonna they're gonna turn it down, and you're running the risk of them uh, compressing and and wrecking your music. Stitcher, 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 love. Yeah, uh, and, and from the research I did, because I did it fairly recent, a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just a mastering show. So Stitcher doesn't have a requirement. Yeah, but it says it says minus fourteen loss. So yeah. So, that's, so basically, that's the standard now for for in general. Um, I'll say that when I did my research uh, for spoken word, like podcast, negative sixteen was mm -hmm. it. There's got to be a um, I if the uh, the uh, ACX, which is the the people that that deal with audio books. It's minus eighteen if you're doing uh, an audio book. Um, they it. have they have their own stand. That's why you have to look these things up. Like whatever platform you're going to, they're gonna want to know. You know they're gonna want it to be at whatever all right now there's one other question i had for you uh okay yeah and a standard interview right because that's what a lot of people worry about you want to try to record it because you can't adjust any kind of volume right on a a single track recording mm -hmm. i'm going to pull up one right now that i've been using uh, uh actually i want to do yeah, yeah, yeah. Recent projects. We'll just go with ADD. Uh, where's my master track? There it is, master. Yep, save. Always save your, your stuff. So this is what ADD looks like 
That's four people. <laughs> this is this is what ADD looks like. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, kinda. But this <laughs> is four people. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you see how I actually get it fairly close because I'm <laughs> using these sliders and I'm I, I'm I actually have a headphone amp so I can turn me up better and blah 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 in my yep. ears. But um, they're not separated. Here's it, what what it would happen is if I separate it would look like. Me and Hugh, except it'd be my voice and three voices. Yep. That's okay too. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you can then adjust, I can adjust them separately for me on the track. Then we can mm -hmm. run it through the bus and go on. Right. Yeah, you, you you're not limited to two tracks to a bus. You could put as many tracks as you want to the bus. So. Now in this case, I recorded you, you, you everybody said, on you, one. You said you said you had three other people, so you'd have four tracks in total. No, nope. you send what? You, no. you 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 recorded it all to one track. Well, okay, in this case, yes. For my separation, that's and that's the thing. This is you gotta know your limitations, right? Mm -hmm. I can separate you in this case. We're using StreamYard, using Zoom, using Skype on my mm -hmm. Go XLR board. I can separate my microphone, one track, mm -hmm. Skype, Zoom, whoever, Microsoft Teams, that is one track. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter one voice, which is you, Hugh, you're one voice, right? Or if we had Scott on here with everybody else. It'd be three voices and one voice. So it wouldn't be four tracks. It'd be two tracks uh, because that's all I can separate out right. because of the software limitations. Yep. Because yeah. you're literally coming in through one port, essentially one, one ear, if you will. Yeah. So yeah. That, 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 yeah. That, that gets tricky when, when you have more than two people is how do you get them on their own separate track? Let me ask you this in this case. And actually I'll pull up a little bit different. Hold on. Uh, recent project. Let's go to the Patreon version. Well, uh, you know what? What I would tell you is what we used to do with you and Ricky when you did Success Freaks, where you do yeah. a double end recording, where he'd record. Yeah, and no, record. I don't have time for all that shit. Mm. I know, but that's a that's you could have each person record themselves yeah, and send man. it to you, and then you'd have your separate tracks that way. That's a way you can do it. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying right. you could. Now, as you see here, you know where my microphone is versus theirs. Yeah. That's what Brian said. Yeah, that's what Brian said. He's out. <laughs> yeah. He did though. though Every time. Though. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. I spike. Now, let me ask you this, Hugh. Mm. Mono recording, just for this term, for this definition, mono is just everybody's on one track. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's actually stereo, or whatever, but all voices are on one track. One, you know. Mm -hmm. Would running a bus to do that compression and limiting help at all? Or does it, it really need to be two separate recordings? for just looking at that it might work where you, you wouldn't even need a bus you could just do that right on that track because it's all on one track you put oh, in okay. a limiter and a compressor and see what you get it, it doesn't look like it's that far off but it 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 might make that more square so right. you, you might be able to get it to work I try it and see that's what you're gonna have yeah. to you, you, right. you just you just have to try it. Now here's something I do like about Reaper is we're gonna add these these limiters to our favorites in the compressor. So we did oh thank you. Uh we actually did the MGA JS. No, 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 no. You want want to know a better way to do that? Sure. Okay. Um go to the, the bus track, right? Well, no, this is we didn't do a bus track on this one because it's all in one track. Oh, oh, that's all in one track. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Fine. Go ahead. Put put those in. The yeah the yeah the MGA one, and then um, the um, the rear comp. Yeah. First one. Right. Now we can we can uh, how do we I forget how to add favorites. It's been a hot minute. No, but you can you can um, no. Uh, I believe if you go to uh, uh, up at the top there FX, uh, I think there's a thing called save. Yeah, add add if um oh, save so, effect oh, save, save effects save. chain. That's what you want. So then it you you know you could set that you can make whatever adjustments you want with those effects, and you can save the effects change, and it'll come back and it'll be exactly the way you left it every time. Okay. Now I'll have to go over later, but uh, so. Well, on the compressor, go on the compressor. Okay. Click on that. Um, change attack to twenty five. The, the attack box, yeah. Oh, that work. Right, right. And then the um, release to one twenty five. 
and then the ratio to four. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now do effects save effects chain, and it'll save all of those. Settings. Oh, we haven't done this one yet. Wait, does that matter? Um. Well, that's that's you just the 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 ceiling you want at minus fifteen, but that you know. Um. You, no, that's threshold. Ceiling. Right. You're Mod. right. My 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 bad. Yeah. And then the threshold you want to adjust that so that you get your four. Well, we'll do that after, but we won't say yeah. that. Change. But th this is where, yeah, this is where you want to start. So then okay. you do, then you do a save save effects chain, and give it a name that you can remember. Um, I label I label it Hue buses. Okay. Yes, and, replace it. Okay, right. so that's where we start, and then on the yeah, limiter. So on the um yeah the limiter on the on the on the main on the master wait let me see if i got it let me see if i got it on the limiter i can do the threshold so i see that negative between negative three and negative six yep and, and the and the compressor frugal's asked do y'all recommend taking a week or two off between seasons i'll worry mm -hmm. that i'll lose momentum i mean traditionally botched hasn't um you know all right so there's that one then on recomp we're gonna do over on the left on this one until we... yes same thing <laughs> so, yeah absolutely Sorry. uh frugal's asked do y'all recommend taking a week or two off between seasons i'll worry that about I'll next four right yeah somewhere around there yeah. i mean traditionally botched hasn't um you know it, we do have different seasons where we tell you know set stories <laughs> but i've always had the momentum and the wherewithal to tell the guys that uh, all right hmm. so there's that then we get to the master mm -hmm. right all right there makes us happier for you <laughs> um Click on the, hey, the, the, the. Hey, no, give me just a few minutes. I can't do it right now. Go away. All click right. On the, now, the I've board. already, I've already basically hand mastered an envelope. Mm -hmm. But you, uh, so on the master, click on effects. Mm -hmm. Master limiter. And you want uh, the, uh, the, uh, where is it? Da, 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 da. Limit. The second one from the bottom. Yep. Minus one. And, uh, 1.0 all right and then you adjust the threshold to you know uh to so that the, the meter on the on the I'll right so it hits negative one up here yeah so it gets negative one about and again once you once you've got it pretty close render it uh, you know add, add another track and then do the loudest thing see where you are and if you're pretty close you can... gotcha. oh welcome to almost daily discord there you go See, minus 1.1. 1 .1. That's one more. pretty much what you want. Okay. All right, cool. I, okay, I'm learning something. This is yeah, even no. in a basic one-track recording. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah. All right. So now we want to render it and add it back in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. File. Render. Add it back in. Uh, I'll just label this one so I know it's the, the extra one. And render. And it's going to take about a minute, give or take. So definitely, like, is there, hey, those of you watching, I know, let's see who all is watching right now. Um, of course, Scott is here. Uh, eight, I think these are a lot of bots here. Ebony Juggernaut, let's do this streamer. I think that's a bot, Lurks. Princess League, Estora, Chino. Are y'all getting something out of this? Is that is this helping making sense? I know a lot of people are actually planning on uh, watching this after the fact. They weren't going to be able to make it tonight. Uh, but I hope this is helpful uh, with with mm. learning and doing better at what you want to do. I got to tell you, though, I'm watching this render, Hugh. It's a brick. Yep. It is a solid brick, which is but actually kind of good. That's what you want in your final product. You want it to be a nice, consistent thing, you know, but not overly done. You, you want to still have some range to it, but you want it to be consistent. Yeah, it looks like a brick. Um, you know, Scott's got a lot out of this. Well, you're I, welcome. I have. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> All right, and it's almost done. Boom, and it's it's building the peaks. 
And let's just solo this. Let's listen to it real quick. <laughs> Discourse. I am Charles McFall, and we've got your perfectly adequate host, Tony P. Anderson, Mike Ellison. <laughs> uh, so I you I... listened to Tony? You didn't move? Oh, it did help. It did help. It brought no? us closer together. I told you. That, yeah, you can try it, and as long as it's not too far off, it probably will work. So. All right. Now we're going to analyze it and see what the numbers come up. And that was that's what I've always tried to do. So like with Joe and I on Pokemon Go podcast, uh he'll come in really low and i'll be really spiky but i've, I've learned how to manipulate my board because that's something you taught me hugh mm-hmm. that i really want to put out there for everybody listening it doesn't matter how well you know the tools after the fact you can be an expert at lust meters or waves or whatever else what matters is if you don't have a good product to start with a good recording you can't there's only so much you can do so i've absolutely learned how to with visual and audio clues to adjust my sliders on my recording, it just did two things. It doesn't matter. You uh, on my my so. recording, and then it so that it is closer together, and then that's actually why this thing was was smoother. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, all right. Up. Yeah. Hold you, on. You, you pick two things. Apparently. All right. Click off. Click on. All right, extension. No, no, no. Do, do, you need to select select track number six. That that should be your, that's your rendered one, right? Yeah. Okay. Number four, but yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, number four. All right. Yeah, yeah. that's one I'm on. So so that that means selected. Yeah. So yeah. No, no. Click. Yeah. Okay. So now just that is selected. Do the loudness thing again. That should be just that one. This Analyze. is items, and there's a you actually have to have the track highlight. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. you tell me the wrong thing. Well, yeah, I I don't know if you didn't select anything. It probably would just do every track. I don't know. Um, I've never tried to do that. So, I, you know what? When we get done here, you can try and run that on fifteen tracks and see if you get fifteen things. You probably Ooh, will. You probably will. Yeah, because it, it did it, too. It, it, pro- yeah. it probably will just go. All right, you want me to do all of them? So I will. Yeah, you know. take you a hot minute, depending on your right. processor. But yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you've got an hour long show with fifteen tracks, it's going to be a while. So, all right, there we go. This would be the render. Negative thirteen, so a little loud. Loud, yeah. Range, Range two point five. So, um, no, you want it more than four. Yeah, you, exactly. So that's a little loud. And True, True Peak, Peak is, is o- over. So yeah, so you need to turn that master limiter, the the limiter on the master track down. The reduce the threshold because you're, you're you're crushing it too much okay so i don't want to spend the time to do it again but basically what we do is we delete out this render we play the yep. track back and bring it back down some yeah yeah re-render it, it re-render it and yeah you know get it so that it's you know within the within the range yeah especially the dynamic range you want you want to make sure that that's bigger than four and then um and then you could do your normalized thing. And I did the normalize the neg twenty three just to see what happened. Taking it from too loud to quieter. Let's yeah. see, just just for funsy, see what happens. Yeah, then we'll I, yeah, wonder, I wonder what it'll do. Hmm. It's gonna crunch the crap out of it, is what I imagine. No, it's gonna it's gonna make it it's gonna make it negative twenty three, which is I believe TV commercial or radio commercial standard. I don't know. Oh one. lord, that's when you go from your nice TV show to Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. yeah. Yeah, but that yeah. See now you now your loss is minus twenty three because that's what you normalize it to. Your mm-hmm. range is still still too high. Yeah, uh, and your peak is minus eight point four now. Which so it really turned it way down. Yeah. So yeah. So um, there's only too much. So obviously we just, we've got we your start perfectly over. adequate host Tony P. Anderson, Mike Ellis. Not too bad. No, I mean because also what you've got to remember, uh, actually hearing it back, I have a slider like you would have on your radio or your phone or your iPod. I have a volume slider. And it's at maybe 40%. So if someone's like, okay, I need to turn it up. And we've got your perfectly adequate host, Tony See, I, mean, I didn't move Mike it Ellis. that much. I did not move the slider that much, and it got too loud really fast. Right. Right. So sometimes yeah. letting it come lower is okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, so. You know, that's why you, you got to, like, you know, play around with the parameters a little bit to kind of figure out where you need to be with your, your compression and your peak limiting. Um, 
Yeah, but again, yeah. what the numbers I gave you are our starting point and, you know, go from there and make adjustments accordingly. If you're not getting enough dynamic range, then you're probably compressing it too much. So, you know, back off on that a little bit. Exactly. You might, you might, that the limiter that comes before the compressor, you might be hitting that too hard too. So, you know, you know, roll All that right. back a little bit and see what you get. I am going to edit this down video down. So before we put it on YouTube, because we're at about two hours. But we were doing a lot of tech issues ahead of time. So I want to get down to what we're actually talking about. But I hope people got a lot out of this, how to use audio buses. This, I was using Reaper. It's my my tool that I love to use. If somebody uses Audition or Audacity or Pro Tools and they want to show a quick video, I'll hook you up. We'll get it on live or we'll, we'll upload it, so make the video and send it to me, whatever, uh, so other people can see legit how they do it. Otherwise, my tip to you is, Okay, he mentioned SWS extension. Do that. Search SWS extension for Audacity, right? Whatever you're using. That's what I've always done. I was like, I want to do a, t a thing that I use DSing sometimes. D E E S S. And it takes the hiss out, right? So I looked up DSing Reaper to find the plugin that's already built in to do that and how to use it. Uh, because sometimes it can separate, you know, those kind of things uh thank you hugh man you actually showed me a lot more than i anticipated oh I, I could show you all kinds of other things that you know the deep dive into reaper because you know again i watch kenny joya's videos and i pick up all this stuff and like most of it i'm never going to use but i still remember most of the things i'm like oh i know how to do that like you never know when oh yeah like i was doing a I was working and playing around with this video thing the other day and kenny joya has a thing about how to do videos and I'm like, okay wow you can do all of that in reaper with videos like i mean it's not final cut pro or anything but if you want to make a like a, a 30 second little thing you can do that in reaper very easily no problem and so, you don't have you don't have to go anywhere else to you know to mix your music and whatever it's all right there boom it's got a video player everything that that's awesome man uh so our discord if you want if you see this video either play it back on Twitch or you find it on YouTube or somebody sends the link, however you got it, tiny.cc slash DMT is all capitalized as you see on the screen. And then lowercase is Discord, tiny.cc slash DMT Discord. We'll get you in. It's an open Discord that we actually have audio production rooms for tech talk and those kind of things. Ask questions. Lots of great people up yeah. there. Yeah, uh, if, if, if people have questions, feel free. You know, I mean, I mean, I'll be more than glad to do more of these if people have questions about specific things. Exactly. I mean, I might just do a deep dive with you. If there's a month that comes up and nobody has any panel suggestions, we might do is do a let's right. play with Reaper and see what it can do uh, right. just for fun. Uh, Twitch.tv slash DC Digital Media is the channel, of course, you're on right now. But if you find this video later, that's how to find this when we do the live. And, of course, that's where the con is over Dragon Con weekend. Uh, that's Hugh. He was he was the uh, guy keeping the basement for when I have Reaper questions. <laughs> uh, really, that's about what it comes down to. And of course, you can find everything I do at charlesmcfault.com. Uh, almost daily Discord, which we mentioned, or discourse rather, almost daily discourse, which we mentioned a few times tonight. Uh, Pokemon Go podcast uh, and finding the stories, which the season two of that man is going to be excellent because I am going to be multi-tracking right this across the board, and then do the buses like you said, and then do the intros and. It's going to be so good. It's just going to be tighter and better produced, and that's coming up. But a volume or a show three will be coming out on Monday. So, uh, you got anything else, you? Um, no. That that uh, creepy looking alien head behind you is moving. Uh, yeah, that's the mask from Borderlands, and <laughs> yeah, the fans the fans definitely make it move. And it does <laughs> it's like creepy. kind of like shaking its head, like no i disagree with you and now yeah. i'm gonna kill you <laughs> i like it so, right, yeah thanks. also uh anybody um go check out scott's show the um blood crow stories yes um yes because you know, um he's an awesome guy and you should go atl check out. by night is uh something else they've been doing as well right. so definitely check that out uh all right uh thanks everybody for coming out uh, next month we'll have an educators educators panel because that that panel went so well it just was so short it felt like that's going to be teachers who do online teaching it's going to be other kind of people who do instructing and if you want to be a part of that like scott asked earlier again get into our discord and and get in with emily swan and that kind of thing so uh we're that's going to wrap it up Thanks uh, for coming out this month and check out next month. And we'll check out, uh, I didn't put all the stuff in here, but it's uh, 
Twitter is at DC Digital Media, and Facebook is Digital Media Track or DC Digital Media Track. So, yeah, follow wherever you follow, and we definitely will promote when we do these panels and have the schedule up. But the first place you're going to hear it, or hear about it, rather, is in the Discord.